Trend Hour, Lizzie O'Leary is on the Gulf Coast in Grand Isle, Louisiana, following the very latest news we are getting from the U.S. Coast Guard and from BP. So, Lizzie, bring us up to speed. Well, what we've really been hearing in the last few hours are numbers, Lori, and they're pretty staggering, including this headline, that the oil that has leaked out of the Deepwater Horizon explosion could be twice that of the Exxon Valdez. So we're talking about somewhere between 17 and 39 million gallons of oil. That's a rate of about 504,000 gallons a day creeping toward this coastline and spreading out. Also some questions about whether it's been picked up by the loop current and that heads toward Florida. Now the other thing we of course have been watching is that top kill operation, a temporary halt to the oil coming forth because of the amount of heavy drilling mud forced back down toward the blowout preventer. We heard that from the Coast Guard, then from BP. They had to walk back some of their initial uh, points about this the Coast Guard did but now we're also hearing from the Obama administration look so far it looks like we're working we're not a hundred percent there yet that's what the interior secretary had to say today in Washington the latest uh, report uh, from Secretary Chu and uh, those in the command center at uh, BP this morning is that the effort on top kill continues uh, whether it will work or not uh, Congressman uh, Lewis is still an unknown now, we'll get to hear from the Coast Guard in a little bit later this afternoon. Thad Allen, who is the incident commander, is going to be briefing reporters about the top kill operation. And we're hoping about some of those new numbers that we got about the breadth of this spill.